Hi guys, welcome to Milgap Farms. My name is Kevin. Do you ever have times in your, your schedule, your day, your week, when you keep having similar problems? Kind of very, very repetitive. Maybe you gotta replace all the batteries in all your devices or tires on both your cars if you have more than one. Um, in our case, it's a matter of plumbing. It seems like every single week for the last month or two, we've had a plumbing challenge. And we're at the tail end of that, at least we hope we are. Uh, you might have caught a video where we put a water filter in recently, and then also did some repairs on our circulation pump. Well, because we have an outdoor furnace, we have excessive hot water inside the house. So today, we're gonna put one of these on, okay? This is a mixing valve. And what it does is it takes a little bit of cold water, mixes it with our into our hot water, so that as it goes around the house, all the point of use in the point of use, like the faucets or uh, really our kids' shower and tub is the big thing. Uh, that way, the water that goes there is not going to be scalding hot. Currently, the water that we have going to the all of our point of use is 150 degrees, so that's way too hot for what you know to bathe the child in. Uh, it's too hot to bathe yourself in too, actually. So, come along, let's see if we can get this thing installed. We bought this at a plumbing supply store called Ferguson's, uh, but you can certainly find them online, and we'll put a link to some of these uh, from Amazon if you want to buy one. Um, this one's pretty good. I think each one has a plus and a minus. Uh, we settled on this, to be quite honest with you, because it was in stock, and I could do the work pretty quickly. So let's, let me show you what we got. Instructions, they're helpful. Um, this is the main valve body. And then you've got the connectors that are gonna connect to it. Um, one thing I liked about this kit, and I think a lot of them are coming with it, is you've got screens, okay? These little screens here, okay? These screens are gonna go on the ends. Um, and then you've got one output that doesn't have a screen because you've screened it going in. Then you've got these little guys here that are, that are threaded on the inside. And what the kit did not come with was a three quarter by three quarter PEX fitting. So that's three quarter inch PEX fitting three quarter. Okay. So that's going to go, whoops, <laughs> that's going to go inside of here. Okay. We're going to put some Teflon tape on it. This is gonna fit like so. Okay, there's a the collar that's gonna hold it onto the brass, and then it's gonna to screw together just like that. Okay? So we're gonna put the we're gonna put it all together. So now we have all three where they need to be. We're actually gonna need this thing, this Allen wrench to adjust it. That'll make sense in a little bit. We're gonna put some Teflon tape and put all three of these on and then go install it. It's always been my understanding that NPT should fit, marry up, and you not have to use this thing. Maybe I've been wrong all along on that. So I put a, not a generous amount, I don't want to make it so hard I can't get it on, but I certainly don't want to put this on then later come back and have a leak. You want to put your Teflon tape on so that when you twist it in this direction that the end is this way so it doesn't bunch up. If, you, if I put it on the other way and tried to screw it in, it would back itself out and cause a, a little bit of a mess. And it wouldn't seal either. So that's really what you're going for. So you wanna spin it around. Now it's in there like it should be. Hold on to it. There we go. Okay. So here we go, guys. And they marked it on both sides too. There's a hot there, and there's a hot right right there. That's pretty cool. That way, if you install it any way you, you do it, you can see where it's going. So basically, what's going to happen here is <clears throat> we've got our hot water that would normally be run into all of our, our point of use things. Um, in this case, it's going to have to get set up something like this, where this will head out to the point of use, a little bit of cold, our hot water. And remember, both of these are screened, so that when it comes out here, it's, it's already kind of filtered. We're gonna put this ahead of, behind the filter so that the water going to it is filtered, but the screens are gonna help us out as well. So 
Um, once we get it installed, we'll then begin the adjustment here on the knob and get it to where we want it um, so that when it goes upstairs to our kids' bathroom, it doesn't burn them. And that's really the goal here. So if we ever wanted to change it, we just come down and take out that screw right there. And then we can adjust it one way or the other, hot or cold. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, if you have an outdoor furnace, this is a must. <laughs> uh, it really is. <clears throat> if you have a regular hot water heater, you don't need one of these things. You just turn your hot water heater down, right? But not with what we have and the way it works. And I'll show that to you here in just a minute when we go in the basement. All right, let's go down. Let's go downstairs. All right, guys, we're going in the dungeon. It's an absolute wreck. Mainly because of me. All right. We had a water leak last week. That was terrible. We put this pump in, or not the pump, but we had to take the pump and, and clean it. That was pretty cool. So real quick, let me show you how this works. This little guy right here, let's see if I got, this little guy right here provides all the heat our house needs constantly. There is no more use of our hot water heater, um, but we had a problem with it getting sediment in it. So we installed this guy right here. And then we had challenges with our circulation pump. So we had to change that up a little bit. Um, now we've got everything right where it needs to be. With the exception of this puppy right here. Oh, buddy, that is hot. Oh, my gosh. Cold going in. Hot coming out. And I'm telling you, that's... that's oh, that's got to be 100, 150 degrees or more right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut the water off, drain it. So we're going to install it somewhere in this area. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But let's get the water turned off. Power's off. Drain the water out. It'll take a few minutes. While the water's draining, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put this thing and make sure we got all our fittings ready and our um, PEX rings ready, so this should go pretty quickly. Famous last words, again? We'll see. Huh, that's going to be painful. It's a lot easier, guys, to, ins to install your pieces parts down here than it would be to install them up on the, um, behind the sink. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Get everything almost installed. Everybody's tight. Yep. Okay. All right, guys, everybody's tight. That's the cold water coming in here. Sort of. I don't think that's going to work. We'll see. Now we'll see.
always missed one. That would have been a leak for sure. Okay. I'm a little stronger that way. All right. Let's hit it. Or not. No. Arr! We got a leak, guys. Two of them. Guys, it looks like we got this thing installed. And we got a leak. So we got a little bit of a drip where the NPT or the threaded fitting fits in. We're gonna make a couple more adjustments and hopefully we'll get it straight. All right, we're coming back in a little while. We gotta go feed animals now. Okay guys, we got it. Uh, no more leaks. Uh, we've adjusted the water so that what's coming out in the sink here isn't terribly hot, but it's enough to make you probably want to turn it down just a little. Thanks guys for watching our videos. If you like what you're seeing, consider giving us a thumbs up. I am tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, so we've been up on the mountain doing some, some work up there, and now we've got this installed. It's time to go take a shower and go to bed. Until next time, guys. God bless you.